Terence Masson è direttore della Creative Industries alla Northeastern University e considerato il professionista più eclettico nell'industria della computer grafica. A View Conference 2010 presenta i punti di convergenza tra videogiochi e film. Il mio libro CG101 è sulla uh, computer grafica industry reference. È um, in due parti. La prima parte è separate chapters on the specialties, so like modeling, rendering, light, color, uh, compositing, animation, with the terms and the tools and the techniques and my tips on how to do those better. So that's one half. The other half is a history. So it's um, history of computer graphics from a, a company standpoint. So I, I interviewed in person all the founders of the famous computer graphics companies and how they founded them, uh, the people that worked there, Uh, all the earlier work, so that's what it's like. The main stages of my career have been, um, I started college as computer science programming, hated it, too boring. Uh, then changed to fine art, using the computer. So graduated and worked in uh, television production, so doing uh, like TV graphics for broadcast. Um, then industrial light magic, so uh, visual effects, live action. Um, special effects um, from live action and then uh, animation, so uh, feature animated movies like um, The Wild and Flushed Away and movies like that. Also um, what we call a special venue, like in my, my speech today I talked about the Luxor Hotel. It's all uh, motion based, so um, wraparound screens like theme parks, like theme parks. Um, so you go to uh, Disney or, or Universal Studios and you ride the rides, that kind of thing. Um, and then working a lot in broadcast. So like getting South Park started, broadcast animation. Um, and I transitioned from being an artist to a, a producer and a director. So um, consulting with big studios on how to build animation studios from scratch. So if they want to say, we want to build a company to produce this kind of work. Uh, how would you do that? How, how to optimize it? What kind of teams to build? That kind of thing. Um, and then I got into education. Because as a director and a producer um, and a supervisor, you do a lot of mentoring. So you, you know, you're teaching the next generation of, of people, which is a lot like teaching. So uh, that's what I've been doing for about the last four years, full-time faculty teaching. The connection between video games and movie technology um, has really merged almost completely. It used to be two very different uh, pieces of software. Um, games used to be very uh, heavy, pr pure programming from scratch, engines, and they would use a little bit of 3D graphics with like 3D Max. Um, movies was very different. Also very heavy programming and tools, but they would use different tools, soft image, Maya, um, and very different techniques. Very high resolution, lots of assets, because uh, you had huge capabilities. Games was very, very um, difficult, because if you had to optimize for real time, so very low polygon count, very simple models. So as the game technology got more advanced, the, the tools transitioned. And the same people did as well. So the artists in film using Maya would be working on games to make the same uh, high quality. So that's the way it is today. Hook was my first feature film that I worked on, uh, a Steven Spielberg movie, a live action visual effects. That was very special because back in, it was about 1991, we still use lots of um, traditional visual effects. So um, fiber fill clouds with motion control stages and giant matte paintings on glass and integrating CG in a very little way. Um, so that was really exciting, very, very fun. That's probably the most special project. Um, that or Star Wars, because in 1996, after starting South Park, um, I went back to do the special edition. So the original three Star Wars movies, Star Wars Empire and Return of the Jedi, redoing those special editions and getting to work on those uh, was really something special, because I was a huge Star Wars fan, you know, from when they first came out in the late 70s. So, but every, yeah, every project has something special about it. 